Oh, there you are. Oh, uh, hey, uh, uh, hero. He's a Papa Swario. Hey, Papa Swario. Hey, uh, welcome to uh, episode uh, hey, 412 a Dairy Swar. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Dairy Swar, Danyasan, Dairy Swar. What's up, everybody? What up, Bishes? Hello, Bishes. Hello, hello. Hello. Today is episode 412 of the Daily Mother Fucking Swall. The Daily Mother Fucking Swall. It's episode 412. It comes after 411, obvi. So, welcome. Thank you for joining. Remember, if you're old school, you can always pop on some Daily Swole Club. Hashtag Daily Swole Club. Like and share. And fucking awesome comment with the hashtag Daily Swole Club. Let's get that Swole Club back going again, shall we? Shall we? Look at this. Look at this pubic hair essence beard that's unkempt. And I'm purposely unkemping it. Uh, but this episode is going to be great. It's going to be fire. So let me know. If you liked last night's, or float some hearts and float some thumbs for last night's uh, workshop, last night's webinar. Did you guys like this? Can you talk to us about making 12 instead of, I can't, I didn't read that one. Mix it up some more. This episode is going to be what the core is. We're not gonna go over a ton of core exercises, but a lot of you uh, got some little treats and some tips in your email. So remember, oh, let's make this, let's, let's, let's make this something that's fucking cool again. Remember, that because a lot of you got my ebook, you got my ebook, I give a lot of tips, I give a lot of advice, and a lot of like, you know, knowledge nukes in your email. So check your email. You should be getting daily emails from me. And if you're not, check your spam folder and make sure that you're opening those emails. And you can respond to me, you can communicate with me via email too. And today I dropped some abdominal tips, a couple exercises in the email. So make sure you check that out because it's good shit. It's just another way we can have a conversation. Mm. 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 Yeah, yeah, the coffee, the coffee mug. Welcome everyone to episode 412 of the most muscular podcast in the realm for one reason and one reason only. Because when I flex, you flex, we all flex our biceps. Look at the fucking guns like an absolute rock. Thank you so much for joining me live here, 12 noon Eastern time every day. You can also watch them on YouTube and listen to this as a podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. And I encourage all of you, even if you watch it live here, if you have not left me a review on iTunes, I would appreciate today to be the day where it's review day. So a couple things. Um, yeah, let's do that. If you have not left a review here on my Facebook page, you know you can leave me a review and there's an overwhelmingly positive you know, amount of reviews. I want you to leave me an honest review. Uh, so could you do that here after the show, do it here on the Facebook page, but also for the podcast. So if you can go on iTunes, and if you listen to the podcast on iTunes, please leave a review, an honest review. You know, Five stars is great, but if you think it sucks, then leave me a one star. But leave an honest review, I really appreciate it because that kind of feedback gives other people the opportunity to check my stuff out, and it might put my podcast in front of some other people's eyes that may like to mire the beard gains. You can mire the beard gains even in the podcast. That's how amazing this thing is. This thing has fucking magic powers. So let's get right into the show today. Yesterday we were talking, we went hard on fat, like why you're fat, why you've gained so much fat over this period of time. And in the, the workshop webinar last night in premium, talked about fixing your mind and that was bomb. So if you were in the premium webinar last night, drop a couple comments, let me know what you thought of it, let me know how that was for you. Um, I think everyone really enjoyed it. So let's wake up, let's float some hearts, float some thumbs. You guys know that I hate it when it's just quiet. You know, we're here together. Don't make this a one-sided conversation. Float some hearts. If you like what I'm saying, if you liked the webinar last night, if you think the beard is golden, if you think the gains are solid, float some hearts. Let's um, get this excitement going a little bit. And make sure you share the broadcast. Hit the share button and tell someone else that Papa Swellio is talking about core today. So 
uh, I dropped a few, I dropped three good exercises and three things to do in the email, but I wanted to talk about what the core was. I want to kind of go into a little bit more core stuff because everyone's asking me about core and I really think even though we've talked about it in the past, we have to come back to it because I don't think people know what the fuck the core is. I know what they think the core is, but I'm always impressed at how little people actually know about the core and what the core actually is. Um, you're talking about abs. Everyone's talking about like the Ninja Turtle stomach. You're talking about the little, you know, the squares. But that's not what the core is, but that's what usually people refer to. So I know what you think it is. Let me tell you what it actually is. And then we can have more intelligent conversations and get some fucking work done. So you got a dude. He's got arms and he's got legs. And he's happy because he's got arms and legs and he's, he has a lot of gratitude for his life. The core is this. The core is everything except the arms and legs. So if I have a person and he doesn't have arms and legs anymore and he's sad because he has no arms and legs, okay? This is the core. So you have the cervical spine, you have the thoracic spine, lumbar, and then you have the coccyx, the sacrum, but then you have like, you know, we'll just call it the pelvis, which is like the hips. That's the core. These things, a core makes. These things a core makes. These things are the core, okay? The core is the center. You know, it's also known as the axial skeleton and the appendicular, the appendages, the arms and legs go off of it. So you have the ribs and you have the scapula that, you know, can arguably be called part of the core, but generally, you know, that's like the shoulder girdle. I'm not gonna get too into the depth of it, but the by and large is at the hips and the spine. So let's do something else. Let's remove the head. Let's remove the head. So we have the neck, we have the upper back, and we have the lower back, and then you have the pelvis. So this is the core. And literally it's like what it means for like an apple, you know, it's the center of the body. So that's what the core is. It's not the little six pack center like right there. A lot of people think that the core is like little abs. That's just the rectus abdominis, that's all, and that's what you see. So let's get into that a little bit. Let's get into that a little bit. This is the core this whole area, yeah? Let's go bird's eye view. I wanna explain a little bit more about what the core is and why it's important. So this is gonna be a very rudimentary drawing, okay? So this is a bird's eye view. That means we're looking down the top. You know, we're looking from the ceiling. We're like a bird, you know, looking where to shit, right? So for example, here would be let's say the spine, right? And I'm not gonna get too crazy with this because there's no way I can draw. It looks like a donut already and I'm hungry. So then you have literally just layer. You got a little muscle tissue here, layer, right? You got layers, you have organs and stuff. You have, you know, liver and you know, different layers. Then you have layers and layers of fascial tissue and muscles. So it, it's like a tree ring. It's like the rings of a tree. That's the best way to look at it. Now here's the thing. Let's say we're looking this way. Okay, the eyes are facing this way. Okay, so this could be really creepy, but here are the eyes, the person's eyes. Okay, the abs are right there. There's your, your quote, six pack. So I want you to uh, so I want you to understand, like, if you're looking at this properly, that's not really your core, your rectus abdominis. Like, the six-pack is not really your core. Like, Papa Swolio, I think I got abs. Let's see what I got here. Let's see if I got... Urgh! Not bad, okay? I was squeezing, too, but I had to. Come on, this is like national TV. 
But those are not what protects your body. That's not your core. That's towards the outside, right? That's towards the outside. So you want to work what's in the center of your body, but also what's inside. You want to work what's here. And the reason is because people don't just want abs. People, you, you just don't want abs, do you? You don't just want abs. You want a flat stomach. And you've seen some of these bodybuilders that take growth hormone, that take all these different things, and they have distended stomachs, and you know they have blocky abs, but you want a flat stomach, you want a thin waist. Well, how do you think the body has a thin waist? There are things like the draw and maneuver and the plank that I discussed in the emails that I sent. Exercises that work muscles that are deep. This is called a superficial muscle. It's outside, it's closer to the skin. That's why you can see the rectus abdominis. That's why you can see the six pack because it's closer to the skin. And when you get rid of the fat under the skin, there's layers of fat, subcutaneous fat. When you get rid of that and you have the abdominal muscle that's close to the skin, if you're fortunate enough, the skin will kind of wrap around the muscle and kind of be wavy and you'll see bumps which we call a six pack. It's so very weird why that's attractive and why we try to get that. So the skin is just kind of like bending in around the muscle. That's it, that's all it is. Now, why do you want a strong core? Most of you want, you say you want a strong core, I need to work on my core. What you mean is you're fat and you want a flatter stomach that you can see abs. But when you work on your core, you actually work on your core and we do this with in the Swolga and mobility group. We do this with the 90 day and in Prima, we talk about this a lot. When we're not here on the daily show, we all discuss this a lot. That working on your core goes deep. When I say we go balls deep on the daily swole, I mean it because we go deep into the spine. Because working the core works those tiny stabilizers that's going to pull the organs in, that's gonna create structure and stability around the base of the spine and prevent lower back injuries. Now a lot of people do a lot of crunches and a lot of stuff to try to work the abs that they see to prevent lower back injury and lower back pain. When in reality, working those muscles, the rectus abdominis, oftentimes makes lower back pain at greater risk or makes it or exacerbates the pain because the rectus abdominis is not a stabilizer, it's a movement muscle. It bends the spine forward a little bit, okay? The transverse abdominis, that natural belt that someone said stomach vacuums and doing sucking in, it's like a natural belt, it's deep inside the body. When that muscle tightens, it sucks in, it flattens your stomach and it creates a strong structure around that pull. Imagine this, I'll leave you with the best example. You take a basketball hoop and you're digging a hole to put the basketball hoop or a pole, you know, just a structure. You want a strong pole in the ground and then you fill in and you put sand all around it. You start to wiggle the pole, it's gonna move. You take a shot with a basketball, it's gonna hit the backboard and the thing's gonna start to sag until it falls over. If you dig that hole, put the pole in and then you, you go deep and you fill it in with concrete, it's gonna be solid and it's never gonna fall over. That pole will be there forever, right? Having a strong core, and we're talking about the core muscles, the real core, the ones that are inside, that is what is going to give you a strong back. That's going to do things like increase your deadlifts, increase your squat, increase your endurance, decrease your pain, prevent injury. And those are the things that have multitudes of benefits. Just having a six pack isn't the answer. Having a strong and stable core, that is the answer, but if you're going about it the right way. If you know what the core is and you're training it properly, that is what you're going after. So it's all about working the base and the hips properly. That's why I'm always talking about the glutes. It's all about activating the intrinsic stabilizers, the ones that are deep inside not the ones that are on the outside, not the six pack. That will come with nutrition and general training and global strength training because you can't spot reduce fat. Stop trying to do crunches until you fucking pass out. Not gonna work, have fun with that. There's a reason why it hasn't worked yet because it won't. And that's that. And that's the core. That's the core. So when you say you wanna strengthen your core, first off, you don't know what the core is. And second off, you're doing it wrong. 
So stop running your mouth and saying words that you hear on TV, that you hear on the internet, and start doing some actual insightful training. And, some, and, and that's what it is, it's training. It's not exercise, not going to my group exercise class. No, it's doing training, systematic approach to your physical activity in order to progress for a result. That's what training is. And too many of you exercise or you do fitness class or you have, you know, it's, that's what a program is. Training is doing something. If you're training to, if you wanna learn how to play the piano, you train. Otherwise, you just go to the keyboard and you're like, I'm playing. That's what most CrossFit classes are. That's what most group exercise classes are. They leave you wasted. They leave you exhausted. They leave you tired. But it's like, I'm going to play the piano. And you go over to the piano and you smash keys. You're making noise. And afterwards, you might be tired and your fingers might be sore. But you still suck. But you still suck. You know, being exhausted, being tired, and making noise, that is not practicing and training for the piano. So you have to train for fitness, and you have to train your core, and you have to do it properly. So there's some videos on my YouTube channel that a lot of you have probably seen, um, and a lot of you in premium, you have these access to these videos, and you're familiar with this already. Um, I sent out an email to most of you, so if you're not familiar, check your email. Check your spam because there'll be more content on this coming through um, the email channel. So that's very important. If you're not getting my emails, please open them. I know it sounds like an archaic method, but it's a great way for us all to communicate all the time, regardless of whether you use Facebook a lot, Instagram, Snapchat, doesn't matter. So check your spam if you're not seeing them because... Gmail and that probably throws it there as well. Um, but you get daily content emails from me. So make sure you check that out because I dropped three exercises in the email for core um, just a little while ago, I believe. So love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 412 of the Daily Mother Swole where we access our core, core, uh, 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 some core fucking gains stay on the Daily Swole. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining me every day at 12 noon Eastern time. Remember, you can always uh, catch me on YouTube and listen to the podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. Make sure, make sure you leave the remember of reviews, reviews, right when we sign off here, make sure that you uh, leave me a Facebook review if you haven't already. And also, if you listen to the podcast, if you could on iTunes, leave me a review, an honest review on iTunes as well. But if you haven't done on Facebook here, hit the reviews, let me know what you think of Papa Swolio. Let me know, leave a beard review, leave a daily swole review, leave a gains review, just leave a fucking review. Make it honest, make it truthful, and um, I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for your attention, thank you for your support, and thank you so much for watching the most muscular podcast in the realm, because when I flex, you flex, we all flex these fucking things right here. Mm, don't be jelly of my gains. Don't be jelly of my gains. Go get your own. Go get your own gains, motherfucker. Get your own gains. It's time to get those gains. Time to get your gains today. Peace, McGee's, Deuce, Magoose. I'll see y'all tomorrow.